And in preparation for the possible need to self-isolate for an extended period of time, grocery stores have been slammed. With many products in high demand, some stores limit the number of certain products you can get. Ten on your side's Brett Hall went to several stores today. But more importantly, he brings some context as to why toilet paper is flying off the shelves. Brett. Yeah, absolutely. By now, you may know that coronavirus or COVID-19, it's an upper respiratory virus. And usually toilet paper used to deal with things on a different end of the body. But one expert says when it comes to buying it ahead of this virus, people are using this part of their brain. It's a sound more welcome than a cough. And by the looks of the shelves and stores from the peninsula to the south side, it's been heard a lot. Crazy. I couldn't find a lot of stuff that I needed. Cynthia Brothers tried her best today at the Kroger in Hampton. No hand sanitizer, no alcohol, uh, rubbing. And of course... Toilet paper. <laughs> While the coronavirus is no laughing matter, many people just cannot figure that one out. Dr. Jay Zagorski with Boston University recently gave it his best educated guess, though, in a piece written for the online publication, The Conversation, Zagorski says the mass hoarding of TP is likely an example of zero risk bias, which is when you eliminate as many risks as you can during uncertain situations. In other words, you may not be able to avoid the coronavirus, but you may be able to avoid running out of toilet paper. But again, people like Darlene Milburn now getting creative. Two for $2.50. Now you get 500. If you can't find toilet paper, I suggest you use this. I got three packs. You just remember, though, those can't go down the drain. Now, more stories keep coming to us from stores that say they're running out of supplies, but they say that new shipments of toilet paper and some other products are coming in as they can get them. But in order to keep the stores clean, many places are changing their hours now. Just in tonight from Walmart, they'll be operating from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Even if they're a 24-hour store, this is to allow for cleaning and sanitation. Harris Teeter and Kroger are also making schedule changes. The latest on our website. Live in the newsroom tonight, Brett Hall, 10 on your side.